Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought today I'd just show you the process of taking off some of this washi paper, this Japanese style paper, which is around my house everywhere. And I want to try to keep, this is the original one. Um, I just want to replace what needs to be replaced. So today I'm going to go through this and I'm going to learn it as I go as well. I'm putting this on camera. Let's learn it together. I've just started to peel this off. Like this, this was already split here. And um, throughout this paper, it's just kind of been destroyed for different reasons. I'm gonna be taking that off, cleaning this up a little bit, and then using this repair kit to deal with it, to fix it up. So the first step is to remove it, and it, it does come off good. I wouldn't say it comes off really easily. It does have some of that, um, the paper remaining. And then when you pull it off, just to show you, um, it does leave that film. It's really strong. The paper is really strong. It's made out of kozo, the type of tree. And it's basically blended with another, a root of another tree for an adhesive, for a glue. And that's what keeps all of these fibers together. And this one would be a bit different because this is not, this won't be the original washi paper, the, the traditional. This would be like a, an imitation thing. Okay, so that's most of it off now and straight away, I can feel the temperature change. I can feel the cold air coming in. It's winter. I have my, my heating, my gas heating cranking right now and I can feel that cold air pouring in. So surprisingly, these Japanese traditional doors that just have glass and this washi paper do an insanely good job of keeping the place warmer, separating the rooms, making this space smaller. So this is in my kitchen. And yeah, just, just dividing that room off with this, this traditional shoji door makes a huge difference for the temperature. And now I just have to clean up the, the remaining paper that's on there. So I'm going to use some water and a cloth to take that off. So I'm actually going to start the process using this blade and basically just scrape along those edges gently and not destroy this Japanese cedar wood. So I just hold it against that and just peel it away. So I'm really careful not to um, chisel away any of that, that wood there. And this, this blade, this method, is a really nice um, way to peel it back without damaging the the wood. I got off what I could with that little blade. I ended up putting, um, and I put a, a small handle on there with tape just for a little bit of added safety. Now I'm just gonna take a damp cloth. So I've just wet it a little bit and I'm just gonna wipe over that excess glue. You can see that the most of it came off just with that little blade. And now I'll just wipe off that glue. And that's just gonna come off. I just wipe that over, put my nail into that. You can see that that's pretty much off, all off. This is at a good point now, and I'm happy with how this turned out. There are two ways to stick the paper on, and one is the this like adhesive the glue, and the other is double-sided tape. I'm gonna go with the, um, the double-sided tape for this one. Okay, and that's it taped off. It's got the double-sided tape on there. Now I just have to cut the washi paper to size. I chose this washi paper which is, it doesn't have a pattern on it.
how clean that one is compared to the one next to it that's a bit older. But that white, bright, super bright white is coming through. Nice, clean, crisp lines. Japanese design style. And that's already made such a difference having that gap closed off with the heating. It's so much warmer in here already. It's simple as that if you want to install washi paper in your house somewhere. I think it'd be pretty fun to put it into a Western house too. This roll of um, washi paper, which was 3.6 meters long and 70 centimeters wide, cost me about 1,600 yen. Yeah, very reasonable. So that should do um, the doors behind me. It will be close. It should do these two, and I probably need another roll for that, the third one over there, if I decide to change it. This is installing washi paper on shoji doors in a traditional Japanese house. Happy travels!